welcome. On this episode of Abbey Normal Garage, we're going back to our roots with this marine-themed episode. We first start out by working on our 14-foot Carolina Skiff project. This was a project vehicle very early on in the Abbey Normal Garage history. I guess we'll refer to this as Phase 2. In this video, we continue building the deck for the bow of the boat with a remote fuel tank. As you can see in this beautiful old aerial footage, the bow of this boat's pretty cluttered, so we're going to fix that. So this is a mashup of all the pictures and short videos we've taken in that process. We'll then follow it up with a high-level overview of our Mercury Inline 6 project that we just finished up last week. And then we'll cap it off with a beautiful fireworks display celebrating the 4th of July. We hope you enjoy. These next few photos were taken back in December. Here we have the gas tank set in and the deck we had cut with a water jet. However, they messed up the front of the deck and we had to weld filler pieces in to follow the contour of the boat. Dad and I both took turns with the spool gun. This is his effort at doing it. Once you figure it out, the spool gun doesn't do too bad of a job. We still would rather learn how to TIG at some point. This is the deck after we ground down the welds and everything. It looks pretty good. A smidge in a bondo and you'll never know it happened. We still need to cut the front. We hadn't done that yet. I also welded up this frame back here out of the quarter inch angle aluminum. Ground down the welds. This is going to support the plate that goes on the back of the deck to hide the fuel tank. So that looks pretty good. This so happened to be a good stopping point for this visit. We then come back the week of the 4th and pick up where we left off. We're here at my dad's shop about ready to make a big moment happen. We started working on this project back in November. Putting this gas tank up front and the deck on. I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes in these tabs real quick while he's finding screws. Thank you. Does that look good? How did we get so far over? Well, not that it matters. Yeah, it was fine to me. It's going to look great for my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, here, here, like one guy told me years ago. You know, 400 miles covers a lot of steel. Yeah. What was that in regards to? It was a four stroke five. We then meticulously tape around the back edges and sides of the tank. We're going to pour foam in to bed it down. One, the foam will help fill in all the big voids under the tank and ensure it's supported. Two, the adhesive factor of the foam will keep the tank in place if the screws ever fail. Which is a common occurrence with these Carolina skiffs. They're not really known for holding screws well. Well, we're going to go ahead and finish taping this up and then get set up for the perfect pour. We'll be back in a second. For those of you that might be wondering, this is a two-part foam. It is a closed cell variety, so it will not absorb water. They might have lied. What do you mean they might have lied? It says you had five minutes. Well, it's 70 degrees. Did it even go under the tank? I hope it did. Good news, good news. It did go under the tank. As you can see, the nice foam rim all the way around. Here we are doing a quick overview. We went ahead and hooked up the vent line with the twist off camera. We also got the filler neck hose cut. I installed the fittings for the pickups. One pickup is cut to where it touches the bottom. The other pickup is cut to where it's two and a half inches off the bottom of the tank. So it should have a pretty good reserve capacity. I gotta think about what I'm saying. Cause I'm gonna voice over. I'm gonna voice over it. Can I get the Abbey ball on a stick? <laughs> Y'all do that with sleeper dude. He does that. Oh, uh, is it a dog foot? No, it's a person foot. But you ought to get a dog foot. <laughs> That's like bending with Brendan, where he's got the freaking. Uh... Dog orders all the pizzas and. Have <laughs> yeah, you seen that? We now go into montage mode. Here we are drilling the holes for the plate that covers the back of the gas tank. Dad's over there in the background making a filler piece for where we messed up the fuel tank filler location. I'm truly amazed at how slow this drill bit is. Finally, 
Wow. This one seemed to look a lot faster. Now we sweep off these shavings and then we're going to start countersinking the holes. Perfect. Only about 30 more to go. We then drilled and tapped the uh, bracket that holds the backing plate on that hides the tank. We tapped these because this is our access hole so we can get in there and tighten up fuel lines and do wiring and so forth. So this will make it real easy. After we're done tapping we thread a quarter twenty countersunk screw in. There's only eleven more to go on this plate. This plate has six screws on top, six screws on bottom. After we completed drilling and tapping all these bolt holes, we then removed all the screws and drilled a hole for the fuel selector valve. This will select between the reserve and main and off. Now you see if you had the Abbey ball, we'd just shove it up under there. I wonder where you get that. Yeah, show off the My hand's over. Like, oops. You see what the competition's doing? He's using <laughs> sawzalls to... I'm still trying to figure out how we got it that point. I'm gonna ask. I don't know. <laughs> what, the stunt dog? Yeah. Well, that was a decent amount of progress on the Carolina skiff. Things were piling up at the homestead, so we had to go home and deal with it. But anyway, let's touch on this inline six. So this little project started July 4th of 2023. When getting the boat ready, we noticed a crack in the block and we still took it out. But the next day on July 5th, we pulled the power head and got it all cleaned up and took it to a professional TIG welder to have the cooling jacket rewelded. This was followed by several months of inactivity due to travel distances and workload and so forth. We finally got it back together, but then it had no ignition. So a new trigger later and multiple attempts here we go. We may not be Wayne the boat guy, but we have our moments. This thing don't run too bad for a 45 year old outboard. Well, let's hit the water. We heard the Dolly container ship that hit the Key Bridge in Baltimore was in Norfolk for repairs. We're going to go head out into the harbor and see if we can find it.
after a little bumpy ride in the Elizabeth River, we were greeted by these two dolphins as we approached. And there it is. We'll follow it up with some closer still shots. Pretty neat to see a piece of history like that up close. Well, we're going to head on back. Fireworks start at 9.30 and that's what we really came for. Well, that about wraps up this marine maintenance video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it. Share it with any of your friends that are into boats, motors, or projects. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And we'll see you on the next episode of Abby Normal Garage.